Today, I will show you the smartest route to reach $10,000 in revenue every month. Now, let me guess. You're probably not making as much money as you would like to, or you're working on some type of side hustle, but you're not making any money at all. And possibly this is causing some stress to you because I understand where you're coming from. I was at that point one time in my life. It's 2024 now, and I do not want you to miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you there was a way to make $10,000 every single month, and it would only take you four to six months to reach that level. The only things you need is a Wi-Fi connection, a smartphone and the drive to actually take action and see results with drop shipping. Hi, my name is Patrick Stenz. I'm a seven figure entrepreneur and I became a millionaire at the age of 20 years old selling products online. A few years ago, I was working a nine to five job and also a university student that was broke and I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I was just creating debt, going into university, spending money on that and not seeing any return or any vision for myself. In short, I was in the same place that you probably are right now. And in just a couple of years, I changed my life when I started drop shipping and i'm going to share with you that today why don't we compare some statistics in the u.s the average salary in the u.s is between six to seven thousand dollars a month on average but let's not forget to reach that type of wage you actually have to go to college or university to even get to that level and let's be honest you're going to accumulate a lot of debt just to achieve that degree and spend the majority of your 20s studying and partying instead you could put that energy into a business model like drop shipping that can make you passive income and lead you to becoming financially free now what are the routes that you can take to reach that $10,000 every month with something like drop shipping. Keep in mind, we're not just aiming for $10,000 a month. We're aiming to have financial freedom. So you can literally work anywhere in the world like I do. I can be in Greece, Spain, Italy, and I could be still managing my business every day because I do everything remote. At the end of the day, what's the point of making all this money if you can't travel the world and be financially free? That's why in my opinion, I'm in my 20s. I'm spending my money how I want to spend it and enjoying my life. Now, I want to be transparent with you. Yes, I might be biased, but this is how I went from working a nine to five job as a broke university student with no vision at all to making seven figures with something that I'm very passionate about and becoming financially free. While I can't guarantee you're gonna get the same results as I did because that took a lot of hard work and sleepless nights to reach that level. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to reach my first $10,000. So your first question might be, what do I need to build an entire business from scratch? And in my opinion, you just need two things. Number one, you need to offer. You need to showcase a product to the customer with something that they can not say no to. This can be a product or service that solves a problem that this customer might have. And number two, we need customers, customers to advertise to, customers to purchase the product from you. These potential customers can be people looking for a solution to their problems and they'll go to you to buy the product. Now let's take the example of a standard nine to five job. Now as a business owner, there's gonna be a lot of problems you're gonna go through that you need solutions for. Now people who own these businesses do not want to be working 24 seven. Just like myself, I want financial freedom. I want to travel and I want people working for me. Therefore, these businesses business owners will hire people to do the job that they don't want to do. And those people will do it at an even better level. In exchange, they will get benefits, they will get paid, and this will make them happy. And that is what we call outsourcing a normal job. Similarly, that's what we need to do, but just in a different way. We have to solve people's problems. Now, most online gurus will say, go become the best at a certain skill and then monetize that skill. However, there is a problem. Selling your skill is the last part of owning an agency. Because firstly, you need to learn how to market. How are you going to get customers to your agency if you don't even know how to market your service. And that's why I love the concept of selling products online because you can really sell any type of product you want as long as you understand the winning product criteria. Now, what most entrepreneurs will think that are new to this space will say, hey, I'm going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to create something brand new. But that's exactly what you do not want to do. Do not reinvent the wheel. You don't want to do something brand new. Look what other people are doing. Replicate it and do it for your own brand. There are thousands of people selling products online that they don't even own or have in their hand. They are just outsourcing it to a company in China to fulfill fill their orders that they're getting to their store. And the answer to all this is TikTok. And I'm not talking about a TikToker like Charlie D'Amelio or something like that. I'm talking about opening a brand on TikTok and making videos of your product, trying to sell it to the potential buyer. Once your video goes viral, then somebody sees that, then they go to your profile and then they see the link there and they're able to purchase the product. It's that easy and completely free. And 2024 is by far the best time to start, especially with the rise of TikTok shop. Let me give you some numbers here. There are 4.9 billion people on social social media right now and 3 billion of those 4.9 billion people are ready to purchase right now and platforms like TikTok and Instagram are the best way to showcase your product to potential buyers and try to sell them on the product now how does this all work well let me explain let's break it down in three different steps product marketing fulfillment you find the product that you think is a winning product something that no one's ever seen before and you build a store around that product using Shopify before we continue if you want Shopify for super cheap and you want to start your store today I have a link in my bio right now where 
where you can get Shopify for one dollar for three months. So go down below and get that quick. You won't be able to access Shopify for any cheaper than that. That's why I can guarantee. Now you're probably wondering what is Shopify. Now in simple words, if you can find a product, then what you want to do is you want to build a store around that product using Shopify. Shopify allows you to build a store, a nice product page, a nice entire store theme, so you can basically sell the customer to buying your product. Now the next step is creating your website, and I'm sure 99% of you cannot create a website, right? It's definitely a difficult task because you need to code it. But with Shopify, you do not need to code anything. It's already preset templates to set up an entire store. You can create a website within just a couple of minutes like I do for all my students. I have many tutorials like the one above where you can basically see how I build my own store from scratch and you can literally replicate that yourself. Once you've created your entire website, it's time to start advertising. So let's say you're somebody who uses TikTok a lot or Instagram and you're mindlessly scrolling through TikTok and you see an ad of a product that you think is a cool product. Well, this is basically someone who is drop shipping. So if you're ever scrolling through TikTok or Instagram and you see a cool product, these people are drop shipping products and you want to do the exact same thing. The way I would start is first go to Amazon, find a supplier like AutoDS to get your product in hand so you can make custom content of the product. So just make some videos of the product and then literally post it onto TikTok. Now there is two approaches when it comes to TikTok. One is TikTok organic where you buy the product, make content of the product and then post it onto TikTok or there's TikTok ads where you can basically get UGC creators to make videos of your product, edit it, then pay TikTok to showcase your product. Both of them are very good options that I use every day, but I would definitely stick to TikTok organic because it's free and it's easy. So like I said, with regards to TikTok ads, you're spending a budget every single day and you're trying to see results. So there's different ways of doing this. I have some videos here that you can see this one here to see how you can start TikTok ads. But like I said, I would suggest TikTok organic just because it's free and a lot easier to start with. So let's say, for example, you have a product like crease cards. So crease cards are crease protectors that basically make your sneakers have no more creases. Okay. So the way you want to showcase this product is basically, you know, showing the crease guard, showing the crease guard in the sneaker, showing that there's no creases anymore and possibly even showcasing like a before and after. This grabs the viewer's attention and can potentially get your video to go viral. Once you get a couple million views, that's when people start purchasing your product and you're making a lot of sales. I personally do this myself for all my brands. One of my main brands has 450,000 followers and we're making six, seven figures selling products like this on TikTok. And another thing you can do is when you're posting content onto TikTok, you can also repost it to Instagram Reels, especially if you don't have a thousand followers yet and you don't have that link in the bio, then I would definitely repost on other platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. So like I said, TikTok is free and this can all be done by yourself just at home making videos of the product, showcasing it, editing using CapCut, and then posting onto TikTok. The most important thing I would say is just to stay consistent. Do not quit after the first couple of TikToks don't go viral. At least do this for three times every single day for at least seven days. If you don't see results, switch to the next product. Now I'm gonna go tell you a little secret here. There's a way to use both TikTok organic and TikTok ads at the same time. This is more for scaling. So let's say you're doing really good with TikTok organic, right? You're getting millions of views on videos. Your creators are performing tremendously. So what you wanna do is is you want to start using the TikTok ads manager. You want to start using your best performing TikTok organic videos as TikTok ads. And this is called Spark Ads. You're able to actually send more traffic to that winning creative that you have on TikTok organic, and you're able to actually put more money into it so it gets more results. And the reason why that will work really good is because there's a lot of brand awareness. Imagine you have a video with millions of views, a great engagement on the video, then compare that to a video with no engagement, no comments, no followers, nothing, no social proof, nothing, right? Obviously the one with the social proof engagement and millions of views is, is going to convert to more sales. And next, when you're making your content, make sure you try to relate with a potential buyer. You want to ask them questions. You want to respond to them. You know, give away your product. Show them that you have the best product and that you're actually a real brand and you're a great brand that they can potentially buy from. And that's why, in my opinion, I would find a creator to make content for you and then post it on your TikTok page so it makes you look more legitimate. After they purchase the product from your website, the next thing that you have to do is fulfillment. So what I would recommend is using something like AutoDS to fulfill your orders so there's fast and efficient shipping times to your customers. And at the end of the day, do not use AliExpress. You want to make sure you stay away from AliExpress because this will lead to chargebacks and problems for your Shopify store. Because at the end of the day, your customers should be number one for your business. I have a video right here, so you want to check that out to see how you can fulfill your orders with AutoDS in more detail. All right, so what's next? Now, if you followed all the steps that I've shown in this video, from finding your winning product, building your store, and then advertising, you can easily reach three to 4K in revenue every
every month. Now, the next thing is investing some money. Find mentors, read books, watch podcasts, try to learn everything you can. Network with people so you can learn even more. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of money when it comes to dropshipping, but I would definitely suggest starting out with a budget because it does cost some money to advertise, buy the product, find mentors who can teach you and help you. Imagine two people, person A and person B. Person A has no mentor, nobody to help them, and they're just spending money and losing a bunch of money. Then let's look at person B, somebody who found a mentor right in the beginning that taught them everything they need to know. So they paid all that money up front and then they didn't have to lose money through trial and error for a couple of months or even years. In my opinion, that's the worst mistake you can make. I personally made that mistake myself. I was spending money every day running ads, losing money because I didn't have a mentor. But once I made some money, I definitely found a mentor who taught me how to run Facebook ads. And that's what led to me scaling my business. Think about this for a second. There's people who are selling mentorships for twenty to a hundred thousand dollars. And now take a guess who is buying those types of mentorships. Is it people with no money? No, it's people who have money and that keep investing in themselves because they want to grow to the next level as an entrepreneur. Now, if you're somebody who wants to accelerate the process and see results as soon as possibly, then I do provide a mentorship one on one where I teach you everything you need to know about dropshipping from building you a store, showing you how to make creatives, showing you how to run ads and fulfilling your orders all in one place. And not to mention, you can also network with thousands of other dropshippers in the space. And then this is the quickest guide for you to reach $10,000 in revenue a month. So if that's something you want to accomplish, I would definitely suggest going through this video once again and, and going through the step-by-step -step process that I went through in this video. In my opinion, dropshipping is one of the most lucrative business models and it's always going to be here. As long as the internet is there, there's always going to be a way to sell products online. And I would not suggest switching from one business model to the next business model. Stick to one business model and focus on that business model and try to be the best in that space so once again hopefully you did enjoy that video and you got a lot of value out of this video i would appreciate a like comment if you have any questions or suggestions for the next video and i would definitely appreciate that it's been patrick peace